The Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education uses the Student Growth Percentile, the SGP, to describe students' performance on MCAS tests. This video will explain how the SGP is calculated for any group of students, for example, a district, a school, a grade, or a classroom. The SGP measures growth by comparing a student's MCAS score from one year to the next. The purpose of the SGP is to determine whether the amount of growth is enough. Here's how the SGP is calculated. Let's look at one school in Massachusetts. Within that school, focus on one class, Joe Schmo's 7th grade math class. Each student in this class has MCAS scores in math from the previous two years, grades 5 and 6. These students may have been enrolled in any school in Massachusetts in those two previous grades. Let's select one student in the class. This student's grade 5 MCAS math score was 228. The grade 6 score was 230. Now let's look again at all the schools in Massachusetts and find the students who have the same MCAS score history as Joe Schmo's student. These students are test score peers. Note that these are not peers based on any demographic characteristics. Students whose previous test scores are the same may be very different demographically. Each student takes the math MCAS test this year in grade 7 and receives a score. In this example, each score is different. Some go up, some go down, and some stay the same. The students are rank ordered by the amount of improvement in their grade 7 scores compared to the previous two years. Joe Schmo's student had the second largest improvement. Each student is assigned a percentile score. The student from Joe Schmo's class is in the 90th percentile. His score this year went up from 230 to 240 improvement that was as good as or better than 90% of his test score peers. The percentile score becomes each student's SGP score. Note that students whose scores went down also have a growth score. The student whose score went down by 4 points has an SGP of 20. This means that the scores of 20% of the students in this test score cohort declined as much or more than did this student's score. Returning to Joe Schmo's class, each student now has an SGP based on how well each did compared to the students in the corresponding statewide test score cohort. The students in the class are ranked according to their SGP score. Students with very different scores can have the same SGP. The student we have followed has an SGP of 90. Another student also has an SGP of 90, but that student's score did not change this year, and the score is much lower, 214 compared to 240. But within that student's statewide peer group, only 10% of the students had higher scores this year. To determine the SGP for Joe's class, or for school, grade, or district, identify the middle student in the group. In this example, that student has an SGP of 40. That student's score, the median for the class, becomes the classroom SGP.